Hi, it's Dwyer. Keeping it free. Blogspot.com. Gamblersadvisory.com. Today is January the twenty fourth, two thousand and eighteen. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Well, let me say, blockchain in my opinion, is an advancement over what existed before. In fact, well-known author, Rich Dad Poor Dad author Robert Kiyosaki gave an interview to Kitco.com where he talked about his upcoming book called Fake. And in that book, he's going to make the argument that gold and Bitcoin are superior to government-issued fiat currency. Well, let's talk about one use of the blockchain that, quite frankly, is a game changer, right? It's vastly superior to what's existed before. Bitcoin.com has launched a notary service that costs the equivalent of 97 cents in U.S. dollars, right, using Bitcoin Cash. You can upload documents for 0 0.0005 Bitcoin Cash, and the digital document will be timestamped and encrypted as it will be tied to a valid Bitcoin Cash transaction. Right? You can imagine the value of this technology for wills and other similar documents. You can go to notary.bitcoin.com for more information. Right? I also have a link to the article on keepingitfree.blogspot.com. Let me also say in another story that kind of evidences the potential. In fact, it's the present actuality of the technology. Coindesk.com reports that the town of South Burlington, Vermont, is testing out land registration systems that would record land ownership using the blockchain startup Proppy. Right? Now, this is important because it's the start of what I believe is going to be a major emerging trend. Right? The collaboration between government agencies and the blockchain. What that's going to do is that's going to greatly increase, and I mean greatly increase, the credibility of blockchain usage with the general public. Right? There may be some residents of South Burlington who will hear that their government is involved in the blockchain, something that sounds too exotic for them, something about which they may have little experience, right? which may seem at first too risky. But once they see it work with regard to perhaps the recordation of the title of their most valuable asset in many cases, their homes, their real property, right? then they might open up to other blockchain applications such as cryptocurrency. Right? Keep an eye on the trend of governments like the local government in South Burlington, Vermont, right? working with blockchain startups to do important things like record real property. Next, marijuana was recently legalized in Vermont. This is a huge opportunity for cryptocurrency given the split right now in the United States between the federal policy of drug prohibition and the rising local trend of state governments legalizing marijuana, right? Understand banks are caught in the middle and don't want to be accused of money laundering, especially when United States Attorney General Sessions is very much against marijuana legalization. Let me also say too that the merchants given this uncertainty with traditional banks 
may not want to put their money in a traditional bank due to the risk of seizure. Let me also say that merchants need point of sale protocols and terminals to process transactions. And of course, many buyers want anonymity. In other words, they don't want to pay with a credit card, their credit card, and have their use of marijuana, right? Recreational use linked to them. Some want to pay using cash or the digital equivalent of cash. So what I want people to do is to keep an eye on privacy centric cryptocurrencies here. Dash already has a partnership with Alt 36, a transaction processor who is serving many merchants in California, right? Let's see if that partnership expands into Vermont. This is also a big opportunity for other privacy centric cryptocurrencies such as Monero, PIVX, Zcash, Z Classic, Z Coin, and Zencash. Right? Just keep an eye on the situation in Vermont. In fact, as states legalize marijuana, right, there are many states right now that have done so Nevada, California, now Vermont, Colorado. If this trend continues, just see which cryptocurrencies take advantage of it. Finally, as institutional money, and we're talking about hedge fund money, um, traditional investors, as institutional money flows into the crypto sphere, there's going to be heightened scrutiny of the claims being made by the various cryptocurrencies, right? Many of these cryptocurrencies want you to believe that they're about to cure cancer, so to speak, figuratively. Well, recently, such scrutiny has come from the investment firm of Multicoin Capital, right? They are contending in a 12-page report that IOTA, a cryptocurrency whose market cap has it in the top 15, folks, may have serious flaws in its protocol and is in Multicoin capitals words sharply overvalued right again sharply overvalued at current prices now you should keep looking at the contentions being made by cryptocurrencies as well as the criticisms right and you should be skeptical of both and do your own independent research. Here, I strongly suggest that you consider the claims of Multicoin Capital, the criticisms levy, uh, leveled by Multicoin Capital, and that you look at whatever response comes back from fans of IOTA as well as the developers of IOTA, right? Because understand, cryptocurrency is highly technical. Sometimes the flaws are not readily apparent, right? It might take a group like Multicoin Capital, someone late to the party, to actually look at, see, and spread news of the elephant in the room. So let's all wait to hear what IOTA has to say about the criticisms being leveled against them because they are serious, right? You want to hear about serious flaws in the protocol before that protocol gets hacked, right? So let's see what the response is and also keep an eye on the price level of IOTA to see whether or not it's negatively impacted by the criticism. For those who want more on this story, I've posted a link 
at keepingitfree.blogspot.com. Let me hear from you. If there is breaking crypto news that you want to share with the public, I hope you do so here in the comment section to this video. Let me also give a shout out to a YouTube channel that I've discovered. I don't know the individual who runs the channel, but I personally enjoy the channel and have learned a lot of useful information from the channel on cryptocurrency. And that's Doug Polk's channel. Polk is spelled P-O-L-K, right? Give that a look. He also has a channel on, I believe it's Telegram. Okay, thanks for stopping by. I look forward to your comments.